Hello and welcome to Tech of the Day. This is uh, Azure 203 and 204 series in continuation with uh, previous videos. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure Monitor. This uh, thing is covered in Azure uh, exam 203 and uh, 204 both and we will talk about that in this exam in this uh, series now about me I'm Nitesh Sharma uh, your host for this video and for this series if you don't know me I'm, uh, uh, I'm interested in Azure development and .NET development uh, or actually all the Microsoft technologies and uh, I will uh, guide you through the through your journey to Azure let's go so the topic for today is as you monitor as you already know and uh, so let's see what is as you monitor as you monitor maximizes the availability and performance of your applications and services by delivering a comprehensive solution for collecting analyzing and acting on telemetry from your cloud and on-premises environments as you monitor it, uh, what it, it can do to your application it is including detect and diagnose issues across your applications and dependencies with application insight correlate infrastructure is used with azure monitor for vms and azure monitor for containers drill into your monitoring data with log analytics for troubleshooting and deep diagnostics support operations at a scale with a smart alert and automated actions create visualizations with azure dashboard and work books so you have unified monitoring you have in azure monitor you have unified mo monitoring which is a common platform for all metrics logs and other monitoring telemetry data driven insights so advanced diagnostic and analytics powered by machine learning capabilities then you have workflow integration rich ecosystems of powerful devops issue management and ITSM tools so this is the overview of uh, Azure monitor which contains wait a second let me make it a laser yes so which so you see here you have Azure monitor overview where you have application op operating system Azure resources Azure subscription Azure tenant all these things Azure monitor collect data from them and creates uh, collects logs and metrics and creates and further use the data and uh, use that data for insights visualize that data analyze that data and respond according to that analysis and integrate you can integrate other uh, uh, tri you can trigger other apps actually after the certain um, analysis of the data so it is really interesting to see right you have insights after the so in this diagram you can see it you, it collects data from let me just create a laser pointer it collects data from your application operating system as your resources as your subscription and as your tenant and other custom sources and collect all the data and provide it and uh, creates insights on that data visualize it. it it can analyze that data and create metrics and log analytics on that it can respond so it can send you alerts and auto scale so if you set some rules let's say your virtual machine is uh, too much uh, uh, your virtual machine is having too much traffic or it cannot handle it you can auto scale and you can create another virtual machine on that rule you can integrate other uh, applications like event hubs logic apps and ingest and export apis so this is really really uh, interesting data here and uh, so uh, at the center of the diagram are the data stores for metrics and logs which are two fundamental types of data used by azure monitor on the left 
are the sources of the monitoring data that populates these data stores. On the right are the different functions that Azure Monitor performs which with this collected data such as analy analysis, alerting and streaming to external systems. So very important. So monitoring data platform. So if to monitor to monitor data platforms, you have uh, logs and metrics. You have log analytics, and then you can have metrics explorer. All data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of the two fundamental types: metrics and logs. Metrics are numerical values that describe some aspects of a system at particular point in time they are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios logs contain different kinds of data organized into record with different set of properties for each type telemetry such as events and traces are stored as logs in addition to performance data so that it can all be combined for analysis Log data collected by Azure Monitor is stored in log analytics with which uh, includes a rich query language to quickly retrieve, consolidate and analyze collected data. You can create and test queries by using the log analytics page in Azure portal and then either directly analyze the data by using these tools or save queries for the visualization or alert rules. So what data, what data does Azure Monitor collect? Azure Monitor collect can collect data from a variety of sources. You can think of monitoring data for your applications in tiers ranging from your application, any operating system and services it relies on down to the platform itself. Azure Monitor collect data from each of the uh, each of uh, tiers like application monitoring data, guest OS monitoring data, Azure resource monitoring data, Azure subscription monitoring data, and Azure tenant monitoring data. As we saw in the previous diagram here, it can collect data from all these things. So, so what is application monitoring data? Data about the performance and functionality of the code you have written regardless of its platform. So for the application monitoring data and then guest OS monitoring data, data about the operating system on which your application is running. This could be running on in Azure under the cloud or on premises. Then Azure resources monitoring data, data about the operations of an Azure resource. Then uh, Azure subscription monitoring data, data about the operat operations and management of an Azure subscription as well as data about the health and operations of Azure itself. And then you have Azure tenant data, which is uh, data about the operations of tenant level Azure services such as Azure Active Directory. So these type of data Azure monitor can collect. Then you have data sources. So monitoring data in Azure comes from a variety of sources that can be organized into tiers. The highest tiers being your application and any operating systems and the lower tiers being components of Azure platform. So Azure tenant, Azure platform, guest operating system, applications and custom sources. So these are the data sources. And then Azure Monitor Sources, you have all the data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of the two fundamental types, metric logs and metrics and logs. Metrics are numerical values that describe some aspect of the system at a particular point in time. They are lightweighted and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. Logs contain different kind of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored in as logs. So you have metrics. With that, you can have uh, application insight, log analytics, event hubs, Azure storage directly connected 
using Azure Portal, Azure PowerShell and Azure CLI or a REST API or you can use third party tools and using that you can do auto scale and notification engine. So the first thing is application insight. Application insights is an extensible application performance management APM service for web developers on multiple platforms. Use it to monitor your live web application. It will automatically detect performance anomalies. It includes powerful analytics tools to help you diagnose issues and understand what users actually do with your app. So it can be used to monitor a live web application, automatically detect performance anomalies, diagnose issues, understand real world user behavior by using custom queries and metrics visualizations. So very interesting. So application insights, very interesting. Then you have monitored metrics. After application insights, you have monitored metrics. Application insights is aimed at a development team to help you understand how your app is performing and how it's being used it monitors so request rates response time and failure rates dependency rate response times and failure rates exceptions page views and load performance so these four five things are uh, <clears throat> uh, monitored which is request rate response time and failure rates dependency rates response times and failure rates exceptions page views and load performance application insights architecture application insight you install a small instrumentation package in your application and set up an application insights resource in microsoft azure portal the instrumentation monitors your app and sends telemetry data to the portal the application can run anywhere it doesn't have to be hosted in azure you can instrument not only the web service application but also any background components and javascript in web pages themselves in addition you can pull in telemetry from the host environment such as performance counters azure diagnostics or docker logs you can also set up uh, web tests that periodically sends system uh, synthetic requests to your web service all these telemetry streams are integrated in the azure portal where you can apply powerful analytics and search tools to raw data and then you can use let me just create the then you can create alerts use power bi to visualize it use visual studio you can use rest api to do some other things with that data and you can use continuous export very interesting so alerts what are the alerts what is alert alerts proactively notify you when important conditions are found in your monitoring data they allow you to identify and address issues before the users of your system notice them. So note, uh, the new unified alerts experience in Azure Monitor now includes log analytics and application insights. The previous alert experience and alert types are called classic alerts and the new one is called alert. And alert rule, what is alert rule? The alert rule captures the target and criteria for alerting the alert rule can be in an enabled or disabled state alerts only fire when enabled so that's obvious so you have an alert rule target resource then you signal it then you have a criteria with that logic test and then you have action groups so action to do and then monitor alert condition then alert state so do you want to switch it on or off uh, because once the condition is met you do the action but do you still want to continue alerting or what do you want to do so the alerts are proactively notify you when conditions are met new unified across multiple services for application insights log analytics azure monitor alerts workflow so what how does it work how alerts work the key attribute of an alert rule are target resource signal criteria alert name alert description severity and actions 
so you have uh, six things target resource and you have signal and you have criteria to meet the alert and then you have alert name of course alert name and then you have alert description what does this alert do and then you have severity and then you have the actions to do after the alert uh, criteria is met same like in here you have alert rule where you have a signal target resource and then the condition if it's met then action and then monitor condition alert states are three so you have three states in alert uh, you can set the state of an alert to specify where it is in uh, the resolution process when the criteria specified in the alert rule is met an alert is created or fired and it has a status of new you can change the status when you acknowledge you acknowledge an alert and when you close it all states uh, all state changes are stored in the history of the alert so alert stage is a different independent and more of the monitor condition alert state is set by the user monitor condition is set by the system when an alert fires the alert uh, the alerts monitor condition is set to fire when the underlying conditions are that cause the alert to fire clears the monitor condition is set, set to resolve the alert state isn't changed until the user changes it so alert state is still in the same state as it was so you have three states new acknowledged and closed demo we will we need to create an alert so i would give this task to you actually because you just need to go to azure monitor and create an alert or based on some conditions and uh, if you understood this i want you to do it yourself uh, because it will be in the exam and uh, if you do it yourself i think you will be fine it's not that hard just you need to follow some uh, guidance Don't leave me here